Should have dyed my eyebrows. I told her I should have dyed my eyebrows. Today, we are going to be watching a video I found a while ago where a guy responds to me responding to him. So it's definitely like layers of response here. Um, he doesn't appear in this video until the very end, so it's mostly going to be like us watching me. It's, it's going to be very meta. It's going to be us watching me, watching him, and he's doing like voiceovers and stuff. So it, it's going to be a very exciting time. And I think it's safe to say I have my first real uh, hater. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so let's watch it and uh, see what's up. A while back I was in a discussion with an atheist online. I asked him some questions. Uh, the first one I asked him was, are you an animal? Yes, we are animals. And As I have pointed out quite a few times in the comments on my video, the original video, uh, I'm not talking about some zoological modern system of rules for what is an animal. Ob then what exactly are you talking about? Because the term animal is a word that has a definition. If I hear somebody talking about animals, I'm going to assume they're using that definition. If you are redefining the term animal to suit your needs, that's a you problem. In order to even talk about these things, we have to first agree on definitions. I assumed, naively perhaps, that if we're talking about animals, we would both have the same definition for animals, because why would you make up your own definition? Obviously, man is not a mineral or a celestial body or an insect. So, yes, in that sense, he is, quote, an animal. I There we have it. Mankind is an animal. That's all you had to say. Yes, we are animals. You, trying to define animal to mean something other than what it means, does not make it so. They clearly point out in the comments many, many, many times, I'm talking about we are not an animal in the sense that we are not descended from non-humans. Human yeah, uh, we are, in fact. Uh, there is an extensive fossil record and DNA evidence to prove it. Um, we, we know we evolved from other forms of life. We know that for a fact. That is factual. That is beyond dispute at this point and has been for a very, very long time. Humans only descended from humans. We did not descend from arboreal apes. We did not descend from jellyfish. We did not descend from those kind of animals. We well, I guess that settles it then. This man uh, refutes all of science by just saying, Nuh-uh. No, he didn't. Well, okay then, what the hell are scientists studying exactly, buddy? We are brute beasts, the Bible even says so, but we are not animals in the colloquial sense of the term animal. And he said that he... <laughs> what is the colloquial sense of the term animal? What are the terms we're using here? You gotta define these terms, and no, I'm not looking through your comments to figure out how you define the word animal different than everybody else. Animal has a definition. Let's use it. He was... And so was I, and did I have a problem with that? I do. In my much experience with atheists and evolutionists, they have a tendency to want to define for me the things that everybody knows. They just define what is, like, super commonly known. But, uh... Okay, by what rationale are you not an animal? Uh, animals metabolize food from their environments, need water... Why did he switch the Nicolas Cage picture from my face to his face? I don't get the point he's trying to make with the Nicolas Cage uh, face, exactly. It's a very weird editing style. It's definitely, like, very boomer, you know. He looks like he probably might be, like, Gen X, but it's a very boomer editing style, isn't it? To survive, have hair, have skin, have organs. Many of them, obviously, the same exact organs we have. Their skeletal structures are essentially the same as ours all over the animal kingdom, just stretched out to various extents. By what rationale are we not animals? Going with uh, your idea that you're an animal. I like how he just, like, apparently decides to not respond to that. Also, I'm going to change the background because I think it's getting a little bit too confusing, even for me, switching back and forth and just seeing this same background pop up. Isn't that better? Now we can all just, uh, in between, look at some, uh, Denver airport horse co- well, I have a question for some of you atheists and evolutionists, especially the atheists, maybe. If you're an animal, here's the questions I have. Is killing animals wrong? It could be. I mean, it depends on what you consider wrong. 
I think that there are arguments to be made for things like veganism, which do conclude that killing animals is wrong. Veganism is a mental disorder. I guess that settles it then. Uh, man with imaginary friend has arbitrarily decided all vegans are mentally ill and therefore invalid. Pack it up, fellas. It's over. Now, for my own part, I don't really care a lot because I eat meat. Um, sorry to my vegans out there. I just like eating meat. Nothing I can do about that. Um, I would say that uh, animals to humans have lower priority because humans evolved to care for each other, not for animals. Humans care more about humans as we're human. And humans were made in the image of God, and man did not evolve to care more for humans. So I, I guess that does it then. Everybody, all the scientists out there, I'm sorry to say you are unemployed now. It's time to become theologians. I think that definitely factors into how I think about it. I mean, we kill animals all the time to eat. Well, if we're an animal too, brings up some slippery slopes, doesn't it? Just a not really slippery slope. Cats are believed to kill other animals sometimes purely for fun. Do you advocate here and now the total extinction of cats? Well, no. I mean, cats can do whatever cats want to do. Those little <laughs> are amazing, and I will not stand for cat slander in this house. If not, what about Nazis? They killed many. What is he censoring exactly? Why is he censoring all of this stuff? Uh, dude, it's just words. And obviously, censoring stuff isn't helping you much with the algorithm because you have, what, 400 videos and, like, less than 400 subscribers? Um, I don't think bleeping things is gonna be helping out much unless you're just, like, censoring it for your Christian audience because they have such delicate ears, but let's be honest. You don't have much of any kind of audience, and there is a reason for that. Your arguments are bad. And not for fun, but for what they claimed was a good reason. And they were wrong. So then are you saying that they were justified? I don't think their reasoning was good. The Nazis did not base their reasoning on anything real. Wow, for once we totally agree. Nazism was based on evolution. Uh, no. Now, you can throw your keyboard on the floor and knock the soy milk over. <laughs> Is this really the guy to be talking about soy milk? Have you all noticed that, like, anybody who brings up soy milk looks like they drink it? Also, does anybody else find it interesting? It's always dudes that look like this that have criticisms of how other people look. Something about stones and glass houses, my guy. ...of Ape going up to Aryan, and he had the list of how different people, the British people or whoever, all these different lists of people and how that they were slightly ape, mostly ape, predominantly ape, and then you go up the list and it goes into eventually the Aryans, which was what he thought was the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegian Kent Hovind type guy that he thought was the perfect man. The big argument with the problem that you are making is that in no way, shape or form, did evolutionary theory suggest that there was an Aryan race descended from Atlanteans that were the most mankind that man could ever get? That's something the Nazis made up. The Nazis made up plenty of stuff to justify their nonsense, and that's what I'm talking about. And, by the way, uh, let's say the Nazis just totally based everything they did on their idea of what evolution was, which is wrong, by the way. I mean... Uh, really, humanity varies so little. There's very little genetic difference between uh, different races of humans, as it were. Really, uh, races are just skin deep. It's all surface level stuff. But uh, let's say that they did base their whole thing on like their weird misunderstanding of evolution instead of going backwards and using evolution to justify their nonsense. Let's say that evolution was the driving force to the Nazi movement. Let's, let's just say that. If that were the case, that wouldn't make evolution any less real. Evolution is true no matter how people decide to use the information they get from it. Uh, sorry if that offends you. Sorry if that bothers you. You offended, little, little baby? You offended by that? Evolution is a real thing, and it doesn't matter who uh, uses it what way. I mean, science is a neutral tool, fundamentally. Um, science can only tell you what the facts are. Science can't tell you how to use the facts. Uh, you can learn to split the atom. And by doing that, you can make reactors 
and help feed millions of people, or you can use that same technology to create weapons of terrible, destructive force that can kill millions in an instant. Uh, science is a neutral tool, always has been. So, he based it on evolution. He taught that uh, people that were lower than him came out of the field as animals and then took on the looks of men, but they were not as evolved as the Aryans. So, yes, you are correct. It is based on no facts. No, it's based on his misunderstanding of evolution and the evolutionary process and over-exaggerating the details and differences between what we call races, which, again, are skin deep. Um, by the way, uh, you know, it's kind of funny how, like, it goes down the list saying the Jews are the most ape-like people. Well, the thing is, we're all apes. Uh, humans are, we are apes. So that, that whole thing doesn't make any sense. If a person is going by evolution, they should not rank humans by how close each race is to apes. Because we are apes. We are all apes. See, Adolf took the idea of Darwin's theory. His and bastardized it beyond belief. Myth. And he took it to its natural logical conclusion. He decided that... No, the natural logical conclusion of evolutionary thought and the evidence behind it is not Aryans are a race that descended from Atlanteans and are the master race above all races. That is not the natural conclusion of evolutionary ideas. That since there's many different forms of man, then some must be more evolved and some must be less evolved. And that is wrong. It's just, that's not how that works. I mean, th these things, you're over-exaggerating everything, just like he did. You, yourself, are misusing evolutionary theory, just like Adolf Hitler would have in your example. Doesn't that bother you a little bit? Doesn't it bother you to misrepresent something in the same way that the big, bad Adolf would? Because I think I'd be bothered by that. You are deliberately, it seems, misinterpreting these ideas. Uh, today they would say... Actually, I take that back. I'm not sure if this is deliberate, because I'm not sure this guy has much going on up there. A homo sapien, and in the past, Neanderthal. This is a misunderstanding. That's actually a regular man. Neanderthals have since been proven to be regular men. Proven by who? What are you talking about? No, Neanderthals are a type of archaic human. Um, they are not Homo sapiens. They are a distinct species to Homo sapiens, although we did uh, intermix, intermingle, we, we, we had some fun times together, and so 30% uh, of the Neanderthal genome is represented across all of humanity because we had some fun times together. Um, but they were not the same species as us. Neanderthals were not, in fact, Homo sapiens. And what are you talking about? Proven? No. Proven by who, exactly? The people from Answers in Genesis or fucking Kent Hovind? They were just like, well, the Bible says uh, that, in fact, uh, the, the evolution didn't actually happen. And, you know, uh, so the Neanderthal, therefore, is just uh, humans. Just all humans. That's kind of like my Jordan Peterson voice. I'm sorry, I haven't practiced a Kent Hovind. By the way, you know Kent Hovind is a, a liar and a fraud, right? I mean, the guy went to prison for fraud, and, in fact, he doesn't even have a doctorate, but insists on calling himself doctor. But you will say that they're less evolved, or if really pressed, they'll change it to different evolution, that they that they are just a, simply a variation and not more evolved, but yet they turn right around and say that the Homo sapiens have a uh, smarter brain. So they, they do believe in higher and lower evolution. And I love how creationists always have this idea of evolution as something that's striving towards better. Like, it's not about survival, it's about being better. That's not how evolution works. Evolution is about adaptation to your surroundings. A species that adapts to its surroundings is more likely to survive and pass on its genes. That's it. Humans are not better than Neanderthals were. We were better adapted to probably the same environments, which is why we survived and they did not. That doesn't make them worse. That just makes them less suited to survive those same environments than we were. However, 
We did do the nasty and the pasty, so we do have 30% of their genome represented in us. You can do a genetics test right now and find out approximately how much Neanderthal G DNA is in you. I always almost say GNA. Uh, genomes, DNA, it's, it's very complicated stuff, isn't it? But yeah, you can do those tests and find out just what percentage of Neanderthal you are. It is still there. They did not entirely drop off the face of the Earth, uh, which is, I think, a very important thing to remember. They were a species that survived a very, very long time, and they still live on through us to this day. They were less suited to the same environments as us, and they lost the competition. Uh, it's very unfortunate for them, but that doesn't make us better. We were just better suited to survival. That's the only difference. And Adolf Hitler simply took this idea to its natural conclusion and decided, well, my people group must be the most evolved, and your people group is the least evolved. This is what happens when you decide that there are levels of men, different orders. There aren't levels of men. There aren't different orders of men. And if you're deciding that there are based on evolution, you're wrong, because that has no support in modern biological sciences. It just doesn't. Sorry. Orders of mankind that are higher and lower. I mean, they were essentially esoteric weirdos who invented their own ideas of reality and what it is. They were delusional and deliberately lied about pretty much everything in order... I don't understand where exactly the politics thing comes from. He puts up pictures of Democrats like, what, you think Republicans are like beacons of honesty? Uh, Donald Trump lies more than like all of these people combined. Although, to be fair, I really don't have a high estimation of politicians in general. Uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with my dad, who is a Trump supporter. We were talking about the uh, strategic oil reserve and now, like, petroleum was being released onto the American market to lower gas prices, and Dad was like, so he's buying votes, that's what he's doing. Joe Biden's buying votes, like, that's such a terrible thing, like, they don't all do that. I said, yeah, and, like, why do you think Donald Trump wants to give you tax cuts? You think he's doing that out of the goodness of his heart? No, that's how he's buying your vote. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, just for the record, to uh, my Baptist friend out there who's behind this video... Since he is a Trump supporter, obviously, uh, I want to make a bold prediction here. Let's say Trump wins in November, which he might. I don't really care a lot. I guess that would suck, but I, I'll be in the UK, so I don't care. Um, let's say he does win. Uh, if he does what he wants to do, which is lowers taxes and lowers interest rates, I'm making the bold prediction that inflation is going to come surging back, and of course, people like you are going to blame Joe Biden. That's my bold prediction. Let's come back in a couple of years and see how it shook out if Trump wins to get their agendas through. You mean like Democrats? Uh, they were wrong. Humanity is a we are a species of society builders to do what the Nazis did goes against something inherent to us that builds communities and cares about other humans. The Nazis saw Jewish people and many other groups as being subhuman. They were wrong objectively. How can you say they were objectively wrong? DNA. DNA shows that humans are more similar than different, and indeed a lot more similar to each other than to the other apes. Pretty simple stuff, my guy. Learn some science. For Christ's sake, dude, just go to, like, a university, go to an actual school, read some actual biology books, learn this stuff. I shouldn't have to be the one giving you an education on what evolution is, what biologists think. You should be able to give yourself that education. But then again, considering this guy, huh. Based on what? See, I can say they're objectively wrong based on morality. You can't. You can say, well, what they did didn't benefit certain society. Well, yeah, they didn't want to. They wanted those people gone to build their greater society that they imagined. Now, if they were, if, if, if everyone was dead that they wanted to wipe out and the only ones left behind were the Aryans, uh, they'd be talking about, you know, how what they had done was right because there's no one here to argue against it. It's objectively right because there's no one here to argue against it. But it's, but if you live in a world where atheism or evolution is true, then it was subjectively wrong depending on which country you're born in. We were born in the country that supposedly won, so we say it was wrong. But they would argue that they were right. And somebody has to challenge this. The Bible does.
But if you go by, well, I just think it's better for society, well, he thought he was weeding out what he thought was weak. Yeah. DNA. That's it. That's all. Oh, my God. This is insufferable. This guy, this guy. Please read a science book, a real one, not not the Kent Hovind sort of like just nonsense. Read a real science book. Read a bunch for the love of God. You have no you have nothing to stand on. So uh, that was something. Um, after that, he just went into like the usual spiel of, oh, you need Jesus. You need Sky Daddy to absolve you of your your bad boy stuff like, OK, whatever. Um, so thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this tour through my first genuine hater. And I'm sure he'll respond, but I don't think I want to respond to his response because he's not going to learn anything. Like You may, I guess, if you're somebody just discovering this channel for the first time. You may, but he's not going to, so I don't see much of a point. Yeah, again, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here, and I hope you have a great one.